Let's do this for the sake of all the respected people in the building, the elderly people in the building. God bless you all. All right. So this is my WhatsApp. All right. And this is Mercy. Yo, this is our conversation. Okay. So, but then again, and uh, when she reached out, what she wants is if mama is ready for a DNA test, she is going to sponsor it with her money right now as we speak mercy had wanted to send me money so that i can go to look for this woman but i told her to hold on let me come out here and tell you guys if you know how i can reach mama please contact me or if you want her to come to me i'm in for any all right hello ladies and gentlemen hi welcome back and thank you for joining me once more this is a developing story i wanted to say breaking news all right before you start insulting me because i'm a content creator uh, everything about content creator is the views please come down and watch the video to the point of understanding okay but then if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome my name is lillian but if you're an og hey hi welcome back and thank you for stopping by so we have good news okay i got a call yesterday from messi telling me she's ready for a dna test so before we get to that part i want to say something i want to confess the truth is when i indulge myself in this story it was not to get the views it was not to get the attention i didn't even know that the story was you know going to be interesting to people the reason i got involved was the fact that a woman is grieving her was you know grieving for the loss of her, her kids her kids that she have lost contact with and a lot of people are commenting that she's not okay some are saying mentally unstable some are saying she's probably she needs money she needs help from mercy that is why she's doing it or some are saying the polite ones are saying she's a, a crazy fan like that crazy fan that is why she's doing that so that was why i became interested because it's wrong to see a mother grieve and you just look away without asking her even if you think her social standard in the society as her status in the society is not as high as the person she's calling on you can be nothing and give birth to a child i mean who is nobody is nothing on her too we are all a lot trust me the only difference is you have that money and one day you will die go back to your creator without that money so yesterday after posting this the follow-up video that i did the research video that i did giving my conclusion that mercy johnson is not mama's biological daughter one hour later i got a message from a liberian lady reaching out to me her name is mercy she sent me a message on facebook now i brought my mobile phone because of all the thomases in the building so i want to unlock my phone this is where the conversation start i don't want you to see her phone name so this is the message that she sent let me i already screenshot it so let me go to the screenshot because i want to hide her phone name for now i won't put her full name out i'm only gonna put her mercy the name that she her first name all right so this is the message she now what i'm covering down there is her number oh my god so i'm covering her number she she sent yesterday together with the message and it reads like this this is the message and i want to read it and the message reads like this hello lillian i came across a video you made a day ago about a woman claiming to be mercy johnson's mother hearing her story it lined up with what i went through when i went missing in liberia as a child between four to five years old my name is mercy i'm going to withheld her son name for now and i and i wanted to ask if you could reach out to her and tell her you found a woman named mercy who also lost her mother and is looking for her this is my number if you could contact me we can talk about it more thank you quickly i acted so this is my replies screenshotted my own replies as well okay her name won't be showing on the reply the only thing is let me hide my whatsapp number so this is us i quickly replied her quickly quickly thank you for contacting me um it's your number on whatsapp please add me up on whatsapp because i lack patience you know me especially on issues like this so i, I sent her my whatsapp number and then she texted me a few minutes later she texted me on whatsapp and um 
let's do this for the sake of all the respected people in the building the elderly people in the building god bless you all all right so this is my whatsapp all right and this is mercy all right let me hide our number this is us yo this is our conversation okay this is it on whatsapp so that i'm in for this and then she called me she asked if she could call and i said yes she called me immediately and we, we got talking her story went like this at the age of between the age of four she cannot exactly remember how old she was then but she could guess that according to people that picked her the, between the age of four to five she went missing and then she didn't know her way home she doesn't know anything about her family and then they picked her up at the market and then when they ask her what is your name the only thing she know about herself is her name which is mercy so to the glory of god they didn't change that name but all other names she had been bearing different names because they took her she had been living with different families people who wanted to help her reunite with her mother and her family they asked for photograph and she doesn't have any a five years old does not have a photograph so she had been living with different family in liberia different places and then in case you want to know how old mercy is mercy is 40 years old she's not in her 40s she's 40 years old all right so this is where it gets even more interesting all right doesn't know anything she can't she can only remember her mother's face then but it just like she, she doesn't have pictures she doesn't know anywhere to go look for her mom okay now the the issue is that okay she left africa eventually she have her own family now which i'm so happy for i cried i wanted to cry yesterday but i had to i want i almost cried yesterday but i had to hold myself i had to be strong for her so mercy roomed the streets at in liberia and then nobody knows where she is nobody know anything about her so but then again and uh, when she reached out what she wants is if mama is ready for a dna test she is going to sponsor it with her money she can afford it right now as we speak mercy had wanted to send me money so that i can go to look for this woman but i told her to hold on let me come out here and tell you guys if you know how i can reach mama please contact me or if you want her to come to me i'm in for any all right so it's not like me not wanting to go because maybe i don't have money for transportation that one is going to be fully taken care of mercy have promised to do that the truth is i don't really know where mama is located the originator of that interview the original owner of the video where mama shared her story the one the, the lady that interviewed mama i have not stumbled on her own channel i don't see, i don't know her channel the only thing i've seen uh people using that video to react to the story that is where i stumbled that is that was how i stumbled on the story in the first place so i don't know the lady's contact for me to say please take me to where mama is so please if you know the lady that interviewed mama the one that had a one-on-one -on -one with mama i'm not talking about people that are reacting to the story using the lady's video to react i'm talking about the lady or i think there are two because i saw another one with another guy reacting you know so please help me reach out to these people if they can contact me or give me a way to contact them so they can take me to mama mercy is ready for a dna test and she's gonna sponsor that she's she want to reunite if that is her mom now this is where i think it can be it could be possible that this is the missing child of mama mercy is 40 years old all right and um mama said that she have odd miss uh, boys and girls i mean she have other kids mercy said she have siblings boys and girls but she can't remember any of them all right and that they picked her up at a market in liberia now mama said her ex took the kids and they were going to liberia right and then the man wrote to them that they have died okay that they went to lagos nigeria they had an accident all right so now listen it's possible that they actually got to Liberia and then uh, because men do not have that gift of minding children trust me no matter how you try to sugarcoat this men can't mind a child like a woman would do so maybe on the process of somewhere like they got down the little girl just walked away from where her dad and her sibling that's the boy Daniel that mama said 
Thomas Johnson took along with Mercy Johnson. So Mercy walked, may have walked away, you know, just to go away. And before you know it, they miss part. And men are not as gifted as we women when it comes to minding a child. It is not their job. No matter how we try to westernize our life here in Africa, their job, God knows their job. Their job originally was to provide is not even worse is to provide for the family minding a child taking care of the child you know you are more blessed to do it as a woman that is why if you have a 10 years old girl she can mind her little baby sister her little her bo her baby brother her baby sister very well but you can have 12 years you can have a 12 years old son that may not even be able to help you mind the siblings do you understand so i strongly believe that mercy went missing and the man couldn't say the truth he had to write her back and tell her that um she they died they had an accident now because he want to get off you want to get the whole thing off his neck like he doesn't want to be responsible he doesn't want to be accused for being careless of being careless or something so that is my thought that is my thought another thing is a five years old child, if you give them money to go to the street, to the next street, or to a nearby market and buy you something, they will know their way back home if that is the original place they are from. Do you understand? If they are from that area, they'll remember their way home from the market. They won't get missing. They will come back home. So for her to not know where to return to, it means that they are not brought up there. She is not from that environment. It means she may be new into that town. She is new into that community. She is new into that city. She is new into that village. Look at it from this angle. All right. So I am calling on all good we Ghanaians from around the world. If you know how we can reach this woman, do it. I beg you. Let's not ignore mama. Let's not just say, oh, she's this, she's that. And then you, we, because she probably don't have all the means to go about this. If she's rich, it can happen to her. But there's a way she'll handle it because her money and her knowledge will help her. People are on hand to help you do things when you have money. But in a case where you have no money and social media have made it possible for some of us with nothing to come on here and, you know, give our takes on things. Mama want to come out here and hear out where she don't have to pay any money. Please let us not ignore this woman's story. Let us try. Let it be that at the end of the day, Mercy has nothing to lose. She want to do a DNA test to ascertain if Mama is her mom. But first thing she wants me to do is go let Mama ask mama more questions if mama thinks that she is could be her missing daughter and there's a resemblance so there is there's something i think could be the reason uh she could be mama's child okay these are the, the ones i've stated you know i've stated them another thing is she can't remember she knows she have brothers and sisters but she can't remember their name she doesn't know anything about them and nobody have claimed that so she started living with different families right now she have her own family which was so compensating that is what compensated me in her story she lives out of africa and she was planning to come to ghana just to come to ghana maybe she can ask anything not because she knows her mom is from here okay she can't remember anything about her life all right but she now that things are going like this if i can succeed in getting mama which she is responsible for the transportation mercy is responsible for the transportation if i can succeed to get mama and mama gives more information mama said she have pictures of her of her daughter mama said her daughter was 12 years when she went missing but all these things mercy was too little to have maybe known her age or something i know kids do know their age but sometimes some kids are at the start of their life and all that bless so what i am thinking is if mama i see mama take the picture she has of them her mercy snap it and send it to dear mercy here this is my new mercy and then see if mercy can reconnect if there's any you can change you get it but mercy is willing to do a dna test and she's willing to come to ghana for this so all that we have to do now to get it to get everything started is locate mama okay it's not going to cost you anything locate mama all right and once mama is located, Mercy will send transportation and I will go, all right? Or mama will come over to my place. I am open to this. I'm ready to do this, okay? 
we can't just come out here on social media and just talk 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 and then when opportunity come for us to do the right thing we don't do because nobody is there to watch us i'm bringing this here so when it's time for them to go private where they will go private and sort this out then when it's time for us to bring back feedback i will bring the feedbacks for us or whoever can bring a feedback and bring it so this is a developing story right now all right so please oh and a lot of people have been reaching out to me prepare your stories and send them i'm in for this okay because once upon a time i was abandoned it's just that in my case my mother and father comes from the same village so even when they abandoned me at the order of my dad's new wife uh -huh, he abandoned me because his new wife didn't want us around and she gave that order if any day she sees him near or sees me sees him near me or my mother she's done with the marriage and my dad didn't want to lose her beautiful i mean he didn't want to lose his beautiful new wife so he listened to her and then i grew up till i was in ss2 then my dad came all this while i didn't know he was my father because my mom out of frustration and anger because not even changed my name when they had me he wasn't available to name me so my dad my mom just named me after uh, one of her aunties and then when my mom got remarried I became the daughter of my stepfather and I didn't know nobody told me except for the fact that people in the village gossip about it and they whisper to me trust village people they want you to know no matter how little you are but that information I didn't care about because I had um, I had a stepfather who was nice to me, who was kind to me, and I had um, I have a mother who loved me, and my siblings. I have my sisters and my little brother, so I was cool, and I have my grandmother. So it wasn't a big deal until this man came back and want to be part of my life. Now, where is his beautiful wife? Then <clears throat> they are no longer together, and all the kids they had together. I don't want to say anything about it because you would think I'm rejoicing over their pain. See, this life can humble you, okay? So if you have a child today and you want to abandon, think of the consequences of it tomorrow. And for those of you stepmothers, dear stepmother, see, I saw a comment here that says, oh, some of you don't know that stepmothers can actually take great care of a child. Who sent you a message and see? If you're a stepmother, you're going to thumb this video down and then you are going to hit on this video. You're going to say something angrily. Listen to me. If you are this stepmother, you are free. The one that the woman have died, the biological mother of that child died, probably before you came into the picture. Or you are the type that the biological mother gave up, said, take, I cannot take care of a child. You and your wife, take that one you are free but aside that you see this if if the woman is alive and you because you want to be a good wife quickly 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 you are being nice to the little girl or the boy manipulating everything to make your husband think you are a good person Charlie God will punish you I'm have that's all I have to tell you stop this uniting family in the name of you wanting to keep a man mind your business if you can't have your own kids it's not your fault it's not everybody that will born but according to the bible it say none shall be barren so maybe the energy you're trying to focus on pleasing this man by hurting other people in the name of you showing love to his blood so that you convince him to marry you or uh, trust you why don't you use it to pray use it to look for medical solution sometimes your not inability to get pregnant is not as a result of spiritual it's maybe medical just one little touch you get pregnant or if it's spiritual you sick stop this uniting families leave mothers to their kids they have that right imagine me i was in the labor room you know struggling to give birth this woman was on top of uh, the bed with baby daddy they were all having fun enjoying and laughing a born finished this same lady has the nerves she has the nerves to come into the picture and want to take my child she's pushing the guy uh, they had to release the baby and then that one too is coming they know me Sha. this one's already told them my child is not the one is she's going to use to convince you to marry her if you can't marry her naturally let her show that love to your family you have a family let her leave my child and i out of it i've told him 
he knows my baby daddy and i could have been that okay if i had listened to people hey change your name don't let him near you don't tell him you get bed if i didn't do it he would know and if i decide to run away with the baby then even now if i still want to run <laughs> i go run but I never do that. I will never do that to my child. I will never do that. I'm going to raise her here in Ghana if I choose to. If any day I decide to go back home and I, she, I take her with me, why not? But it's, it won't be that me. It won't be me running away. Because all these things you think you're doing to your partner because you're angry at that time. Only if you, you realize that in future you're not doing to the man. You're doing to your child. I don't want to cause my kids pain now that name you go bear the name when the papa give him that same name that she named is the name she will bear after all it's just a name what is there hmm? and the good thing is i've gone to know his family all right i know where to find them they are always happy to have me even now this minute we are in good terms me and the family so why should i go and um, be looking for one quickly 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 and see desperate desperado team uh, because you know men sometimes some men when they are sleeping with a woman they say she's a good person she's a good person in reality that woman is not a good person you can't tell me nothing because some of us we know all these things it's just a few of us that cannot pretend me i don't want to be i don't want to even if i'm a stepmom i don't want to be i don't want to come in between a mother and child okay if you're a stepmom and you want to be jesus it's your problem but leave family stop this uniting uh, family in the name of this okay now i've been getting stories so please forward your stories okay if you want us to talk about them if you see you want us to want us to talk about your story you want us to see if you are interested in trying your best to try maybe you'll be lucky let us know okay send me i'm going to try i think it's time to drop my email address but for now i think the best thing is because when I put WhatsApp number now, these haters will get it and come, start hating. Follow me on Facebook or Instagram, drop your stories, okay? Let us talk about this. Please. Sometimes men that are doing these things to their offspring are men who have their mothers and fathers in their lives. Okay, men who don't have their mothers and fathers in their life, they wouldn't even want to hurt their offspring. They don't want their kids to go through that trauma. So today, you are the king. You are married to you are, you are married to um you're running away with children you are doing the child okay you want to hurt your partner at that time that period that now now that you're angry with him or her but in reality in future you are hurting your child so please stop running away with kids leave children to be them i think we should start getting these people arrested you run away with a child we catch you we send you to prison what do you think oh so please connect me to mama mercy okay let's see if she's the messy Mercy is willing she has nothing to lose Mercy stays abroad she may not be a rich woman but she stays abroad even i know you can be in africa and be comfortable but just in case anybody want to think uh, Mercy is okay all right this Mercy, she's okay and all she wants is to reunite with her mother i spoke with her daughter yesterday her daughter is so eloquent Oh my God, may our seeds always be greater than us in Jesus' name. All right, guys, so I'm ending this video here, okay? Send me your story. If you want me to talk about it, comment down below, all right? And I will see you in my next video. Bye.